Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams tutorial series, you are going to learn how to draw a normal curve in PowerPoint. A normal curve is commonly used in business presentations and most business presenters struggle to create a normal curve that looks as clean and professional as this. The reason why they struggle to create a normal curve is they use this curve tool under lines here in AutoShapes to create the normal curve and it is a very messy process and let me show you why it is so. Let me click on the curve tool. I click here, 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 I click here. You can see here, though you get some sort of normal curve, it is not a perfect looking normal curve. The reason is you don't really know where exactly to click to be able to get a perfect normal curve. I am going to show you an alternative way which is downright simple to help you create normal curve that looks professional, symmetrical and that you will be proud to show in your business slides. So let me show you that, show you the method from scratch. First let us delete this thing and let us start from scratch. The first thing to do is to right click and activate the grid lines here. So I right click grid and guides and clicked on grid lines. Now we have the grid lines showing which will help us to draw our normal curve. Instead of using the curve tool I am going to use one of the basic shapes called as isosceles triangle. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to draw an isosceles triangle. In order to make it very simple I am going to prescribe a certain dimension for the normal curve for the isosceles triangle so that you can create the curve very easily. The dimension is 6 by 2 that is 6 is the length of the base and 2 is the height of the triangle. Now let me show you. I have uh, okay let me minimize this. Each of these boxes that you see here, maybe a little closer you will be able to observe. Each of these boxes you see here is a cell. So the dimension has to be 6 cells. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let me move this to this. So you have 6 cells wide and 2 cells high triangle. Let me remove the shape fill so that you are able to observe very clearly what I am doing. Now we have our isosceles triangle in place. The next step is to draw a guiding line that will help us to decide how to manipulate these various endpoints. So the guideline creation is extremely simple. You can observe here there is there are two points where the grid line meets one of the edges. This is one and this is one and we are going to connect them by a straight line. I go to lines, hold the shift button so I can create a perfectly straight line and I am going to move this to the place where the line and the grid line meet. Now this is done. Now our guideline is also done and we are perfectly ready to create our normal curve. Now I am going to right click on the shape go to edit points and I'm going to convert the top the apex point into a smooth point instead of corner point. So I'm click, going to click on smooth point. That is done. Next we are going to go to one of these corners on the left and you can see here there are two handles. We are going to hold this handle which is pointing away to the top left. Hold that square and move it to this place which is the place where the second cell meets the guiding line. Done. We are going to do the same thing for the right. I click on the uh, on the point. You can see the handle coming out. Now move this handle to the exact same position where the second cell from the right meets the guiding line. Done. Now your normal curve is done. You can remove this line. Now if you don't want this baseline, absolutely no issues, right click, go to edit points and when you move your cursor on top of the line, you would be able to see 
that your cursor turns into a crosshair. Now right click and go to delete segment and there you are the bottom segment the line is done and now when I go to the normal view and layout and here maybe I can even have the grid lines off so that we don't have much of a distraction you have a perfect looking normal curve if you really feel that these uh, points end points are not in line you can always move them slightly down you can make the adjustments if you want this to be a little narrower you can do this way this way if you want it flatter you can do because these dimensions are symmetrical you can manipulate this the way you want so that is how you draw a normal curve if you want to you can always divide a normal curve into its individual segments like the way it happens in product life cycle and you can show the various segments along the normal curve and I'm going to show you an animated custom animated version of a normal curve which is divided into four points the first point is you have the normal curve coming and on the first click you have the first segment shown with animation and in the second click you have the second bit third fourth so you have a simple way to explain parts of a normal curve and this is a 3d version of product life cycle diagram where we have used this to highlight the point that we are going to talk about that is the um, maturity stage you can talk about the maturity stage of course you can move this uh, highlighter to any of the places where you want to talk about that talk about the specific segment another variation of the product life cycle is this one where you talk about each of these segments on click so that is how you create the diagram if you're a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to play with the various options of PowerPoint to come up with professional looking diagrams for yourself you can always take a look at off-the-shelf solutions like our PowerPoint CEO packs volume 1 and 2 the two CEO packs have more than 1,600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and busy business presenters like you. Just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial on creating normal curve in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more such tutorials, if you want to watch more videos like the one that you've just seen, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.